What's up, guys? Uh, I'm just out. Wow. Um, I'm outside enjoying this beautiful weather. I just got stung on the leg by a bee, and I'm a few miles away from my house, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. Uh, I'm going for a bike ride, and you know, I figured since I'm a YouTuber now, I could vlog part of it. So, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I'm on this old country road. I've gone about 2.5 miles, and I got about 2.5 miles left. Uh, yeah, I just got stung by a bee. It really hurts. Uh, this car's about to pass me. YouTube famous. Ah, that hurts. Jeez. Um, I guess that's why they say take first aid kits with you. Also YouTube famous. Anyway, first aid kits. Yeah, you should probably take those with you wherever you go because you never know when you're going to get stung by a bee. But uh, yeah, going for a bike ride. And welcome to Tate's Bike Ride Adventure. Okay, guys, I'm going to try... I'm going to try and bike and film at the same time. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Um, so, this is like a little country road uh, a few miles from my house. And it goes in a nice big loop. So, car. Oh, that's a nice truck right there. Anyway, it's a nice like five mile loop that kind of goes around my house. So I still have a little bit of schoolwork to do when I get home. But right now I'm just enjoying God's creation, his weather that he's provided for us today. And I've found that when I get out and enjoy the world, another vehicle is about to pass. When I get out and enjoy the world, uh, it makes my day go a lot better, and when I come back and do my schoolwork, it's a lot easier to do, because, I don't know, my mind's kind of clear and focused, like I've got my exercise out of the way, and the dopamine in my brain has already been released, so I, I'm able to just focus and get my schoolwork done faster. I know it sounds weird, but really, going out and doing activities is really helpful, uh, even though it does take time out of your day, it's it's helpful, it's clarifying. And I'm about to pass another car, so I'm going to get off here. Focus camera, focus. Oh, uh, it's not focusing. Anyway, it's not focusing, daggum. That's the bug bite on my leg. I don't or bee sting. I don't know if you. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I guess I'll have to figure it out when I get home. Drop a comment uh, on how you guys normally cure your bee stings. I will talk to you guys in a minute. I'm gonna bike about another mile. What's up? What's up, guys? So we're back. Uh, and I'm just, I've, I've gone about another half mile. I just wanted to point out something here. So we have God's beautiful, wonderful creation. And then we've got trash, you know, just littered in this ditch here. And I want to encourage everyone to take care of the earth that we have. And uh, don't litter. Um, and if you see trash, if you're able, pick it up, because we only have one earth, and I think that taking care of the earth is important, and, uh, you know, I have this platform on YouTube that I'm able to use, and I want to use it for good, so just encouragement to not litter, I'm sure you guys don't, but I just wanted to throw that out there, because, I mean, look at that. It's literally so gorgeous. And then we just pollute and it's just, it's a good thing and then we make it a bad thing, you know? So yeah, just throwing that out there. And uh, oh, I'm about to go down the hill. You guys can watch. 
No hands. Oh gosh, that's not a good idea. All right, going down a hill. I don't know if you can hear me, but we're coasting right now. No pedaling is needed until we get to the, the hill up here. Woo! Heck yeah. All right, and we, good news, we were able to coast up the, this hill about half way, so I only have to bike up the other half. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Mo Cows. So officially, uh, we have officially done 3.5 miles. So we have 1.5 miles left. I've got this kind of downhill, and then it goes into an uphill, and then it's like a big downhill uphill thing. I'm gonna try and see how far I can get by just coasting after that hill right there. And then when we get to the bottom, there's a really cool creek I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna to get to this hill and then I'm going to record me coasting down. Then I'll show you guys the creek and then we'll see what happens from then. All right, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be insane. Oh crap. Woo! Heck yeah. Oh gosh. I'm going about 35 miles per hour right now. Oh gosh. Oh, that's insane. All right, so we made it up the second hill and then the rest is just coasting, guys. So I actually might have to hit the brake here. But uh, wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful back in here. Not a lot of people travel this road, so I'm able to go a lot faster uh, without fear of getting hit by vehicles. So that's nice. I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now because of the wind. All right, we're coming up on the bridge and the creek and I still haven't had to pedal at all. Just merely coasting. It's absolutely immaculate back in here. We're crossing a bridge, six tons. I hope I don't fall. Oh. All right, so we've reached the bottom. We've got this nice little creek back in here. Look at that. I wouldn't go swimming in there simply because I know that there are cows that uh, are up on this hill and that would not be good because you guys know that cows poop. I mean, only the boy cows do, but still. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably not, not the most sanitary, but there are creeks out here where I live that are a lot, a lot of fun to swim in. And now kind of for the finale, or the second to finale, is what's around this bend right here. And what's around this bend is literally the biggest hill ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get back with you guys after I get to the top. I actually might have to stop uh, pedaling on my bike and get off and walk. That's how steep this hill is. Um, so I'll get off here and uh, let you know if I make it to the top. If you don't see this video, it means I didn't make it to the top. And then at the top is where I actually used to work on a hemp farm. So that'll be cool to show you guys, and then I'll cap off the video with uh, an encouragement. So I'll talk to you guys in about 10 minutes, maybe. What's up, guys? We're back. And that hill is absolutely brutal. <sighs> yeah. So I came up the hill. And uh, that house right there and this field behind me is where I did hemp about a year and a half ago. And uh, I can't really get good videos now because my old uh, employer is there right now. And I don't want it to be like awkward, you know, because kind of dipped. So that's kind of weird. But uh, we conquered the hill. And uh, we've got about one mile left, so before I ride into town, uh, I just wanted to say thanks, thanks for watching, guys. I had a great time. 
Thanks for joining me today on this wonderful bike adventure, enjoying creation, nature. It's it's great. Go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys like to do uh, on beautiful spring days. And maybe give me some ideas of future videos. And, uh, yeah, it's just, I love it out here. It's it's beautiful. Shout out to, uh, to Gabe for just being awesome and getting me down this YouTube path and kind of getting me started and teaching me what to do. And, uh, as always, I need a good catchphrase. Hmm. Drop a comment and let me know what's a good catchphrase to end my videos. <sighs> Goodbye, guys. Drink water.